There are several web browsers available for you to use on your computer. Currently, the most popular internet browser in the world is Google Chrome. Sometimes the term most popular doesn't always mean the best. Today, we will count down the six best internet web browsers for use on Mac and Windows computers. Before we get started with our list, I also created another video for Windows 10 users on how to change the default web browser on your system. The link will be in the description of this video. Starting off our list at number six is Tor Browser. This browser won't be for everyone. This browser is the most secure on our list. Most associate Tor with the dark web to be able to access otherwise unlisted sites. What most users of Tor like about it is that nothing is stored or tracked, not even cookies. You can even run it off a USB flash drive if you need to. My experience with the browser is that it can be very slow, but if you require extra privacy, this trade-off may be worth it to you. Now let's take a quick look at the Tor browser. And when you open it up, it's gonna say connecting to the Tor network. So you have to wait a little bit for that. And then once it's pulled up, you can search using DuckDuckGo here in the search bar or enter the URL you wanna to go to. Next up at number five is Vivaldi. Having been around for a short time, Vivaldi is attempting to become the most personalized web browser out there. It has innovative tab stacking tech you can dock websites as side panels while working in the main menu. There's also a built-in note-taking system. It does currently lack official support for extensions, which hopefully they will add in future updates. Now let's take a look at the Vivaldi web browser. When you first open it up, it's gonna ask you what kind of uh, theme you want for the browser. Currently it's set to this one right here. It's like red. Do you wanna switch that over? You can switch to one of these other ones here. Next, you can set up the tab bar position. Currently, the default is top. You can move the tabs to the left, right, or the bottom. I prefer in the top, the traditional way. And you can pick a background picture for your start page. Now, it's just like any other web browser out there. You just go to your website in the traditional manner. In the left hand side here, see a bunch of different tabs. One here for bookmarks, downloads for note taking. So it opens up this nice little sidebar here for those. You can also open up a sidebar for any website that you like. What you do is just click on this plus button right here and just type in the name of your website that you want to go to say ted.com and you can put that right here in the sidebar and that's a quick look at the Vivaldi web browser for Mac and Windows in at number four is Microsoft Edge which is the default browser on Windows 10 machines it currently does not offer native support on Macs Edge is definitely more user-friendly than its older sister Internet Explorer let's check out a couple of the features has this nice looking feature called Reading View, which I've actually found on a lot of websites doesn't work, but it gives it a much cleaner look without all the advertising. Of course, there's a bookmark bar here for your favorites. Little Hub, also showing favorites, reading lists, history and downloads. And this little feature here allows you to write or doodle or take notes on a particular web page. And this feature works best if you have a touchscreen computer or a tablet. And that's Microsoft Edge for Windows 10. Now we're going to move on through the top three more quickly since most of you are familiar with these web browsers. Taking the third spot is Mozilla Firefox. At one time it used to be the most popular browser. Its outdated user interface 
with the search and address bar separated, along with its middling benchmarks for speed, have dragged this browser down. It's still a very good browser, which I still use quite frequently. In fact, it was the first browser I ever used that allowed extensions. Taking the second spot is Opera. This browser should be more popular than it is with its many killer features. It launches fast, has a turbo mode for those with slow connections, which compresses your web traffic through Opera's servers. This rerouting can help dodge any content restrictions your internet service provider might be placing on your browsing. It also features a battery saving mode, which should help your laptop perform for longer in between charges. I didn't even mention the free VPN. Well, I guess I just did. There are plenty of tutorials on YouTube if you intend to try out this browser. In at the top spot on this countdown is Google Chrome. Its friendly user interface, consistent stability, and cross-platform use are the reasons this browser is number one. Its large range of useful extensions also help to customize the experience. A downside to Chrome is that it is a resource hog. Those with low RAM may find Chrome to be sluggish. Other than that, for overall functionality, Google Chrome is the best, with Opera a very close second. I will provide direct links for the browsers mentioned in the description of this video. What is your favorite browser? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you got something useful from this video. And consider subscribing for more best of tech lists from Tech Gumbo.